Hey Force Chris once again, welcome back to another video. Um, this is another request this time for David. And he wanted me to review the horror film Terrifier 2. Now, I have not reviewed the first one because I don't own the first one. It's not on Netflix for whatever reason, so... I watched this last night. Um, he told me to not spoil everything because he hasn't seen it yet, but... I'm going to say, I like this way better than the first movie. The first movie was decent. But I didn't like any of the characters except Art himself. This one, actually, Art is actually um, a good character. He, I mean, the the um, lead gets more to do. You like the characters are more fleshed out. So, picks up from the first movie. He kills the corner guy by ripping open his head and taking out his brain. This movie, I heard. Got a lot of controversy. People were throwing up. People were passing out. People were freaking out because this movie was so horrifically violent. And yeah, it was. I mean, you got this scene in the Halloween store where he chops that guy's head off. And you see the close-up on his neck, like, impale. It's fucked up. The scene, Allie's death. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, You got... Allie, her other friend, I can't remember her, and then you got Sienna herself, which is the main girl in this movie, and she was great. I mean, the way she took Art down to the end of the movie, this was, that was great shit, man. I mean, and Art himself, David Halladorn coming back as Sarah, um, as Art the Clown is obviously amazing. You got another clown creature, it's a little girl, that's dressed as Art, but she has like a, a hat and there's like hair coming out right here. Excuse me, she was creepy. I mean, she didn't really do anything. She didn't kill anybody, but she was hard to look at, man. She was creepy as hell. I actually got to meet Art himself and the little girl from Terrifier. And I was a bit nervous going up to them. But they were super nice people, though. Um, But, I mean, this movie was just amazing. Ali's death was so creepy, like, the way he cut her eye open, ripped her hand open, like, I mean, think of this, he spoiled down the middle like a fucking banana, like, you know, he scalped, ripped her fucking scalp off her head, ripped her fucking arm off, broke it, it was brutal. And he, and then they rubbed salt in the wound, literally, he literally took salt and just poured it all over her. I mean, it was horrific. And then you see your body later. It's. Yeah. I mean, so her her other friend gets her chest caved in, and he rips off, rips open her chest, and just eats her fucking heart. God damn, God damn, Art the Clown. Um, it's, so one other guy gets his dick ripped off, and 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 then th crashes through the windshield and. It's a crazy movie, man, but it is so fun. Well, maybe not fun, because people are dying, but... It's just a good movie. I mean, Sienna is great acting-wise. I liked her a lot. She was definitely a nice final girl. Um, I haven't met her in person, but I met Art and the little girl, but... She was, she was absolutely amazing. The way her costume looked great. I mean... She took down Art, which I'm not going to spoil. Um, you got her mom, which is a, who is a bitch. She's always yelling at her, her little brother because he, she thinks he brought a dog, dead animal to school and all that shit. I mean, her brother was pretty good too. I, I liked her brother a lot as well. I thought he was a pretty nice addition to this, to the, to the movie. Um, the scene, the clown cafe scene. Fucking amazing Your favorite meals on wheels. Food's a little funny, food's a little funny. Drop on by the clown cafe. <laughs> Annoying but it's so funny. Then then Art grabs a fucking Tommy gun like <laughs> just shoots everybody. And then he throws a flamethrower at the girl with the guitar and she's dancing while she's on fire. It's so fucking stupid, but it's so funny. I mean, her, her mom, Cersei, was like, go to your 
room. What the fuck did I say? Her mom was a bitch, man. But I could see why she was, because she was dealing with the death of her, or the death of her husband and all that. Um, there might be a theory where Art might be Sienna's and Jonathan's dad, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna think about it too much, because that might not, man, I mean, the truth, but it might be, it might be not. But, um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the rest of it, because I want you guys to see it first. Um, the thing about this movie is, it's like an hour, two hours and three minutes long, but I never felt bored during this movie. The movie was never boring, it was never dragging, like, it, there was something happening from beginning to fucking end, bro. Like, it was, I feel like it went, like, way past them, and it should, but... Like I said, the makeup and the special effects, the blood, are definitely the highlights of the movie. And it's just, it's beginning to be one of my favorite horror sequels ever. Out there with Elm Street 3, Friday the 13th Part 4, Pet Cemetery 2 even, I mean. Ari is definitely becoming a horror icon. I have tons of terrifier stuff. I got a mask, got a figure, I got a poster. I mean, he's amazing. Him and Megan are definitely going places, aren't you? Um, but yeah. That's my review for Terrifier 2. By the way, Felic Felicity... I forget her name, but the girl from Seaboy can't make an appearance in this movie, which is pretty cool. When they're playing with, like, a dead animal and shit. But yeah. That was Terrifier 2. Thanks for watching. I give this a... 8 out of 10, just because it, it could have got, it could have been shorter, but, oh well. I got a little guess here. She liked Terrifier too. You weren't terrified, you weren't scared of it, were you? We'll grab from her nap. Um, side of the camera. She gets up on top of the table. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be a last video for today, you guys, by the way, because I'm going to go out. I'm gonna go eat some Applebee's here soon. Um, because we're gonna go somewhere and eat, so. Um, yeah. So, with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys tomorrow for more videos. Until next time, have a good new name, one review. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.